Hi, YouTube. Today I'm going to make uh, us breakfast, and I thought, you know, I haven't shown this before, so I'm kind of starting this a little bit late. I apologize for that, but I'm making, um, I'm going to make us biscuit sandwiches. So first I have to make our biscuits, and we're going to have breakfast biscuit sandwiches. And what's in here is about three cups of flour. I've got about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of butter flavored shortening that I've cut in. I've got a teaspoon of salt. Um, this is self-rising flour, so it should rise on its own. I always use dough enhancer, so there's a tablespoon of dough enhancer in there. Also, it helps the flour rise. And I've got one of my blocks of cheese that I waxed. It was a mild cheddar to begin with, but it's got a nice sharp taste to it now. So, I grated up some sharp cheddar cheese. I've got some cold cream in here, and I'm going to add some more cold water because it needs some more liquid. So I'm going to roll out these biscuits. That, because they're going to be a breakfast sandwich, I want them a little bigger. Uh, so, I'm going to cut them with one of these. And not worry about um, all the rest of it. And you want the water or cream or whatever you're using, buttermilk, you want it to be really cold. I didn't have any buttermilk this morning, which is odd for me. But I'm going to finish mixing this up, get it rolled out, and I'll bring you back when I'm closer to putting them in the pan. Alright? It's almost there. Alright, so I'm ready to roll these out. I've got a pretty good uh, size batch here. I've got flour on my granite, which will help keep the dough nice and cold. Um, unlike the tortillas that I make, I don't. I want pockets of um, shortening. That's what's going to make this biscuit flaky and light. And so, anyway, I'm going to roll this out. These are for sandwiches, so they're probably going to be a little thicker, and they're going to be bigger because I'm going to have a fried egg on here. Look how nice that is. Um, fried egg, some ham. It's already got the cheese in the biscuit, so I'm good there. It's kind of odd using this as a biscuit cutter, but it's going to work great. It would be a great size for English muffin, too. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Those are probably going to be in there, maybe in there maybe 10, 12 minutes, I'm guessing, but we'll see. <clears throat> so, kind of a gloomy morning here. Nice to have a day off though. So I gather up all my scraps. I don't want to waste anything. Uh, precious biscuit dough. <laughs> no more flour. And this one I'm just going to pat out because no need to roll it. Just making a nice... There we go. We get some of these. These will be nice. We can use these for the rest of the week um, to have breakfast sandwiches. And that's kind of why I did this. So, we'll have two this morning. Looks like it's going to make about seven. I can fit them all in here. I'll just try to make this one pretty. To me, these oddball ones taste better. <laughs> I think they got more love on them. Alright, so I'm going to put this in the oven. I'll bring you back. Oh, that one maybe needs a little work. Pick up some flour. Want it to hold together so I can cut it to make a sandwich, right? So there they are. They're going to go in the oven at 400 degrees until they're golden brown. As soon as you smell them, usually they're done. I'll bring you back with the end result. So here's my biscuits. They're in my uh, countertop. 
oven, so I don't have to heat up the big oven for seven biscuits, but these are rising up and looking yummy. Anyways, um, I did want to take you over and show you what I got going on for the rest of that. I am making a fried egg with some Canadian bacon, and that's what's going on that biscuit. So I'll bring you back. Oh, and I've got more canning to do. I'm going to do some red pepper and garlic jelly again, because that's... The other batch is already sold, so anyway. Alright YouTube, I'll be back with the finished biscuit breakfast sandwich. Alright, I'm back. I'm going to show you the end results. These just came out of the oven and they are hot. I probably next time, I didn't really think about it because I never grease the bottom of my, you know, my foil pan or anything for biscuits because of the shortening. But, let me look at that. Mm. Um, the ch there was a couple cheese spots that did want to stick just a little bit, nothing bad, but just FYI. And I'm going to put a little butter on there like it needs it, but um, and I've got my ham and egg waiting. Put that right down there. Well, I lost all my ham. That's all right. My husband won't mind my fingers. And there you have it. A really lovely cheese biscuit that's flaky and yummy. And, mmm. Nothing better than homemade biscuits, I'll tell you. I hope this inspires you to do something different. Step outside your little zone that you're in, maybe and try something new. These will make great breakfast sandwiches all week. All right, YouTube. See you next time. I hope you rate and subscribe. Thank you.